snake? Hush. That's right. It's her. What about the bomb? We were able to remove the explosives. Both of them. Bomb! No, 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 it's okay. There's another in my... It's all right, we got it out. There's another in my... The guided tour will be wrapped up by the time you get home. Make me proud. By the time they leave, I'll have the IAEA praising us as the poster boys for world peace. Out. If something's not right, check her again. Somehow she managed to survive. Anyway, the shock triggered some kind of amnesia. Snake, where is Professor Galvez? You mean? Yeah. She still thinks it's 1974. She's got no memory of anything before that either. Cipher, the KGB, nothing. It looks to be a kind of dissociative disorder. Dissociative amnesia, where memories are blocked out to protect the mind, and dissociative identity disorder, where the whole personality changes. What we're seeing seems to be a combination of the two. She truly believes she's nothing more than a student living in 1974. Peace Day was a lot of fun. I hope we can do it again. <sighs> she doesn't respond to anything that conflicts with her internal timeline. Doctor's pretty sure she's not faking it. If she had her memory, just think what she could tell us about Cypher. The photo is from that guy you brought back the other day. From the old crew. I thought it might jog her memory, but no luck. Anything else you can show her? Have something to show me, Snake? I give up. She's all yours. to show me, Snake? This photo. It is from the other day, right? I like it a lot. I look kind of silly, but it's got a peaceful feel to it. Peace Day was a lot of fun. Everyone cheered at the end, even though I missed a few high notes. We should have more events like that, Snake. I'm sorry, Snake. My head hurts. 
Could you let me rest? You're real. 